Thyroorbitopathy is an autoimmune process that involves the paraorbital tissue. It occurs in the setting of thyroid disease, mostly Graves, Hashimoto thyroiditis, but it can also occur in your thyroid states. The symptoms can range greatly. Um, the vi very mild symptoms initially can be just some paraorbital eyelid swelling. It can be redness and chronic irritation in a patient, um, and then can range all the way to um, proptosis, um, retroorbital pressure, um, double vision that is unexplained, and also acute visual loss. Thyroorbitopathy can be um, defined as um, two phases. The active phase is the inflammatory phase where um, the orbital tissue and the paraorbital region tissue is undergoing um, the inflammation. And when that occurs, um, traditionally it's been thought that it only um, lasts about a year in a 12-month period and we observe patients to make sure that they don't progress to a degree where they have severe um, changes to the periorbital region that can cause visual loss. Then it becomes a sort of what we call an inf inactive or fibrotic stage and that's when the inflammation has stopped but the permanent damages to the tissue in terms of the increased volume of muscles, increased volume of um, fat in the orbit has already occurred. There are various treatments and the treatments are divided into um, for the active phase and also for the inactive phase. In the active phase we just want to make sure that um, patients do not get to a point where they have permanent damage either to their orbital tissue or have um, visual loss. Um, traditionally oral steroids have been used however chronic oral steroids um, can cause a lot of complications and so um, there are protocols now to use high dose intravenous um, steroids to treat um, for the active phase. As we are starting to understand the immune process better in thyroid orbitopathy we're able to understand the, um, the reason for the inflammatory response occur and we're starting to use some of the biologic agents such as monoclonal antibodies to treat this disease in patients who are refractory to the standard treatment. I think every phys physician needs to know that um, thyroid overtopathy is always in the differential for patients who are coming in with um, unexplained um, eyelid edema, chronic um, red eye or irritation um, because the symptoms can be very mild early on. Um, but it is um, crucial to get to the patient's early end disease process. Thank you.